Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Yes, the guy that went all in. Short TA update from Mexico. I arrived last night, still have the time difference, jet lagish feeling, but making a short TA video so I can update you on what Bitcoin is doing. Are we crashing further? Are we going up again? But also on something really beautiful what a family has developed and that's the BFAT Pro an automated trader let's jump into the video Bam. over here guys this is the first video where my face is completely wrong now it's completely right this is the four hour chart on um, Oryx platform yes the Bybit chart you can see that the BFAT told us to short over there on the top and we are still in the short um, because we didn't see a long flag. We saw the long flag here, but there was no candle closing above that yellow stepping line. So that's not a long. Short still, long, no closing above the yellow stepping line. We don't have green in the bam bam indicator and the bam bam is not crossing this midline. So this is all not telling us we need to long. We will long the moment we see a long flag, we see a candle closing above the yellow stepping line, and um, we see the greenish hills starting here and we see the bam bam crossing that is the moment we take along on the four hour chart guys bam on the day chart we can see and uh, that we are following this pattern that we saw in 2017 i will keep repeating it the uh, the the the, the, <laughs> the dangerous thing is in 2017 we had one more dump and that dump could lead all the way to 62k exactly uh, about the level that we are now so Let's see how this plays out. Um, this one is still positive in the bottom. The RSI is going up slowly. We have a weak chart, of course. Again, this one is going to close in two days. The purple line needs to close above the green line to become really bullish. That's like rocket fuel. Um, even if we close here, that is a higher we close than ever before. So still very beautiful on track, guys, over there. Do let's jump into the next charts. Really cool charts. You you need to see them. But give the video a thumbs up first. Come come. Give some thumbs ups. If you give some thumbs ups, then I can go to the next video chart. Video chart chart. <laughs> oh, did it take some sleep? Uh, this is the first one, guys. The Bitcoin hollow waves. Um, this one just shows you how many people at the moment are hodling bitcoins and for how long how long they have been hodling. Um, hope you understand what I'm saying. How many people have been hodling for how long they have been hodling? Uh, Didi, it's not really clear, but um, I hope you do. You can see in the top here, people that held Bitcoin at 24 hours or one day to a week are the pinkish areas. This is here the bottom area. Not that many people. Now we have one week to a month and up uh, to more than 10 years. There's not a lot of people that more than 10 years, but we can see a little bit bluish in the top of there. But then you need to look at the screen. This green is between, let's say, five and seven years area. This area, a little bit. At that area, that is growing. And every time when we go to these blue run tops, look, that area became bigger. I think we will get a massive green wave over here now because I think people understand now that they need to huddle Bitcoins as we are in the last phase of this bull run. Really cool chart. And the last phase, that is, bam, beautiful viewable. Viewable, is that even a word, did he? viewable viewable I'll, uh, I'll make my face smaller on this one uh, but you can see something really cool on this chart um, on this chart you can see that the volatility this is the volatility indicator is in the bottom over here is low and mostly when the volatility is low like here a massive move follows up so for example every time when you see the volatility below the yellow line look what happened after massive move so low massive move when we come to the low areas we see this move these moves don't look big but they are big guys this is like the whole history homes of bitcoin these are huge moves yeah a few k moves so we are again in this low low volatility area which indicates to me that we will see a massive loop move and also if you look here the volatility is getting higher and every time a little bit more higher you can make a trend line almost higher 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 so i think we will have massive volatility which means then in the, the the massive move the last part of the bull run is going to stop cool isn't it now next one bam over here this one uh, didi what is that it's like a shit ton of numbers green on my screen what do i do with this 
don't do anything with this. This is the result of the BFAT Pro. This is the Bitcoin Family Automated Trader. This one puts trades in automatically in your Bybit account and even puts in DCA levels into your trades. So every time when the Bitcoin price will drop, it will buy a little bit more and that makes you not being liquidated. Really cool, helpful tool. You still need to do some good housekeeping, but I will show you now a three minute video that we post every day in the VIP channels. So that's the VIP gold, silver, and the bronze channels that have uh, access to the BFAT. Um, James is making these videos every day, how to manage the BFAT, what were the results, etc. So enjoy the three minute video, and then I will do the end of this video with one more beautiful message, bam. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, guys. Um, very little happening today. We went into this, um, we got caught by that harpoon, we got speared by a whale. I'm not, I'm not really that minded about it because um, it allowed me, and if you watch the previous video, it'll show you where I've reduced the trigger trading stop loss and our entry point has been reduced. And I had a question yesterday, why do we put these DCAs on? The reason we put the DCAs on is because of these harpoons, these whales coming out with spears to spike us, take our money. Okay, for those that put in a short stop loss, like a, a $300 stop loss, when really their, if their liquidation point is 10 times that. You know, if you're using money in these markets, you need to treat it as though you've lost it anyway okay and the game is to take out bits at a time cover the question on why do we automatically put the DCAs in and for those just using the BFAT classic they have to put them in manually that's to cover your is it like a safety net for you for when you're asleep and whatever however if I was to see this come down and start drifting down at the moment, I see that as a classic bar head. I think today, around the 3.30 time, they'll smash this up to get the CM, um, TMA to a reasonable level over the weekend. Um, and then there'll be fuckery with a pH all over the weekend, as there always is, because there's low volatility. But these are your reserve troops and they're there just in case there's an incursion into that area but if this comes down and gets to about there i may even consider cancelling these two and then buying putting a buy price in close to this liquidation for 22. that would bring these entry price and i can then move the trigger uh, trading stop loss down further so then I can catch the rise again. Okay, so that's why. Someone asked me, why do we put the, the DCAs in? This is why we put, they are a safety net. Okay, they're like for the trapeze, you're on the trapeze, if you slip, you hit the safety net. If you've got no safety, safety net there, you're gonna come unstuck. Unfortunately, sometimes you get a ridiculous spike, like something like that, which would literally crucify, but your DCAs wouldn't be there anyway, they'd be this sort of distance away. Okay, hope that helps. Very short one today. Um, and I will do something over the weekend. Obviously, he did his flying at the moment, or he was flying last night. Uh, he, he's got to catch up with the time difference now and whatever. And I'll send this off to him and he'll, he'll post this up. Okay, have a good day. Be careful out there, people. It's a beautiful world, but there are some wicked characters. And you have to be aware of those. Take care. I hope you really enjoyed James' part of the video. Yes, I know he has a very dark, dreaming, calm voice, but that is needed to uh, do some educational stuff and to be very um, clear on how the BFAT works. So thank you, James, for that. We are now a DAO. What does that mean? You can decide on everything in the family from now on. I am giving away control. The control will be in the family, and I will show you uh, the first vote that you can do give me one second i need to open it i will show you the first vote that you can do by sharing my screen again over here and then we are going to search for the family dow so this is snapshot.org snapshot.org and we search for the family dow 
and this is a family though, the thing that you can vote on this coming week till the end of the month is that how many families should we send to the Dow Multisig Treasury. So that is a treasury, a wallet, that five people are having control on, five people from the community, and four of the five need to sign any transaction that will happen in the future. So I don't have control on those families anymore. Um, at the moment, the biggest part of the family voted for 50%. To test it, I think, I think they want to be sure that it works. But 50%, that's 25.3k family power, voted for 50% of the tokens need to go into the DAO. Um, if you huddle family, for example, if you would huddle 20k family at the moment, um, and you would vote on the 100%, that would lead into a 22.7k family power that is voting for 100% really cool so the more family you hold the more you have to say in all the votings and there will be a lot of votings because we are going to completely decentralize the family and everything around it bam that was everything i hope you really enjoyed it if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification and leave a comment as i love to read them and respond to them thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again for mexico bam